everyone, Gator Mom here. I have a new diaper bag review for you guys today. This company is called Newly, and they are a newer company. They have a couple of different bag styles. This one is actually called the Lily Tote, and I was really excited when they reached out to me and wanted to review one of their bags for you guys because a lot of you had asked me about this particular brand, so I'm excited to get to review it and show you guys how I have it all packed up. And then in the coming weeks, I'm actually going to be hosting a giveaway for one of these. So stay tuned. I'll be uploading a video on that, um, like I said, in the coming weeks. But on the front of this Lily Tote, I want to go ahead and touch on the straps, first of all. They are a really nice drop length. They fit comfortably under your arm. The bag in general is really comfy to carry. It's a soft material. It kind of molds with your body. It's not a stiff, cheap type feel. And what's awesome about this bag is it's very affordable. It's one of the more affordable diaper bags on the market. It retails for around $99, and then you can buy a additional accessories for the bag on the newly.com website. So if you need to have a um, bottle insulator holder, for example, you can buy one of those on there or a mommy clutch or things like that. So what comes with this bag is the awesome change pad that's on the inside that I'll show you. And then your optional messenger strap, which I actually have not used yet. I like the tote straps on this one. I think it looks very chic. It looks very classic, goes with a ton, of course, with this black color. So I I've been carrying it this way for the past couple of days now. So on the front of the bag here, you have the little embossed Newly logo there at the top. I'm not sure if you can see there in the camera. And then you have this really nice pocket down here. And down here is a great spot for me to hold my planner. This is a Filofax um, Finsbury in the raspberry color, and it is the personal size, just kind of for reference there. So those of you that are planner fanatics out there like I am, um, this would be a good spot for that. So I like to carry it with me when I have room in my bag, so that fits nicely in there. And then I actually just have a pen down there. My car keys fit great in here also. I was throwing them in there this morning. They're hanging up by my door now, but those are a good fit in there as well. I really like the details of this bag. These little pleats here on the side just make it something super special because it's not just a flat black tote. It actually has a little bit of character and structure and it's just a really, really cute look. So I'm really liking the details there on the side. Then I will show you a side angle of the bag. There's no pockets or anything here on the side, but you do have this stitching kind of pleats here on the side of the bag, which gives it kind of a rectangular look, if you will, which I really appreciate because you can fit a lot in this bag. I like how it expands really well. And then if you don't pack a lot in it, it still looks nice and sleek. So it's just a bag that holds its shape really, really well. Then on the back here, you just have one zipper, which is comparable to the one in the front. They're almost identical in size. This one is a tad smaller, but back here is where I like to put my cell phone. This is an iPhone 6 Plus. And then I just have little odds and ends for me. I have my um, Kate Spade card holder. It's just kind of like my little mini wallet. And then I have my um, GGB coin purse. And in here, I just have a couple of mommy things. I have some eyeglass cleaner, my pill case, a little perfume roller. So just little odds and ends like that. And then I also have an NCO coin purse. And in here, I actually just have coins and cash. And I also have a pack of gum and my Altoids down here. So again, it's just kind of little odds and ends that I tend to grab for frequently. So I like those in exterior pockets. The zippers are awesome on this bag. They are nice and smooth. They're not rough or anything like that. Turn it back around. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the camera up a little bit higher so that you guys can see a better view of the inside of this particular bag. Here's a great look on the inside of the bag. I like taking these particular shots as far as the bird's eye view down so that you guys can really see the organization of the inside of the bags. This one here has tons of interior pockets and a couple of hidden features that I am loving about this bag that I haven't seen on any other bags out there on the market. You have a great pocket back here with a snap closure. You have two side elastic pockets and another two elastic pockets here on this side. Then you have this zipper pocket back here in the back. So I want to go ahead and just unpack it and show you how I have everything. Over here on this key fob, I just have my chapstick. This is one of my perfectly posh lip balms and then my house keys are over there. 
And then in this snap closure here, I like to keep diapering needs. I have usually keep two diapers in there, but I actually use them up so they're not in there at the moment. But I have the change pad that came with this bag. It opens up nice and big, it's super soft, so I've been carrying it in this bag. And then I also have a change of clothes for my youngest. And then like I said, I did have two diapers in there earlier, but they are used up. And then on the inside of the bag, not in any pockets, I just have a booty pod cover with um, my wet ones. These tend to leak in my bag, so I like to put them in these plastic booty pods. And then I just have a package of Pampers wipes. This is a pretty full pack. It's a 64 count. Um, I've used some of them now, but it's a pretty full pack. And then over here in these two side pockets, this one here, I just have my eyeglass case. And then over in this pocket on the side, I just have a bunch of toys. This is like my quick grab. If somebody's having a meltdown and needs some distraction, I keep all these little handheld type toys, but ton fit in there. I had, oh my goodness, I had a couple there that I pulled out. So lots fits in there and then I could put more in there also if I needed to. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the bag around so that you guys can get a better view on the other side here of the bag. You have these two mesh pockets over here. It fits a medium set piece perfect. This is made by Jujube in the Dream World print. And in this particular pouch, I just have all of my mommy things that I would need, like a hairbrush and some lip gloss. I have my posh sticks in here and my cuticle cream. I have my earbuds and just kind of miscellaneous mommy things. I like putting it in this pouch because I can just grab it out and get exactly what I need. So that's the only thing I have in that pocket. And then over here in this one, I just have a couple of miscellaneous things, my tissues, I have my posh hand cream, I love those. And then I have a small set piece that's in that set of three made by Jujube. And this is just my um, on the go little first aid kit. So that fits awesome in that pocket there. And then I have my Honest Company hand sanitizer spray. This is a new scent made by Honest Company. This is the orange and aloe. I love it, it smells so yummy. And then the only other thing I have back here is two play packs for my older two. They are a great fit again in that pocket. It's a really nice pocket, it's nice and wide and the elastic comes out really far. And these are just like a Ninja Turtles and Hello Kitty play pack. So that's everything on the inside of the bag. So now you can see the pockets really well. I want to show you this awesome feature. My favorite thing about this bag, this back zipper pocket, I tend to find doesn't get utilized in a lot of different bags. I know that I have, I just don't use the back zipper pockets a lot, but this one is thermal lined, which is amazing. I have my son's sippy cup in here. It's actually like full of milk right now and it's keeping it nice and cold. It fits great in there. It didn't bulk up the bag. It's just an awesome feature. And then I just kept a bunch of snacks in here like disposable placemats and kind bars and fruit snacks. I have some peanut butter crackers. So it's just kind of my go-to snack spot. This is my son's little bib and then his little spoon and silly kid straw topper. So everything fit so well inside that thermal line pocket. And it's great because if I wanna throw in like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for the kids or some carrots or something like that, it'll keep it nice and cool in the bag and it'll keep it separate from the rest of it. So I love that feature about this bag. It's my favorite for sure. So I highly recommend the Newly bag. I think that it's awesome. It's very well made, it's affordable and I would Definitely try it out if you're on the fence about this one because I think that it is sleek and stylish and definitely well made. So if you guys have any questions or comments on this bag, feel free to leave them below. I would love to hear from you and definitely check out my Instagram and Newly's Instagram for some additional pics of this particular bag and to see their other styles. And again, stay tuned in the coming weeks. I'm actually going to be giving away one of these lilies to you guys. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all soon.